ask you something. If what I have said is the truth, if it is the truth, then God's obligated to his word, not to me, but to his word. Is that right? He's obligated to his word. And then he will bring that to pass just exactly the way he said he would do it. And if he does do it, will all of you then in here, if you haven't received Jesus Christ, would you be willing to do it? And you, the chair that can see his mercy to others, yeah, he will have mercy to you if you'll just have faith and believe. Just pray and say, Lord, I, I'm a believer, and I want you to heal me tonight. And God will do it. We have just left Africa recently, where I'm to return again in the next few weeks. Africa, India, Palestine, Germany, and the ministry. And at Durban, South Africa, after about three or four people had passed through the prayer line and they'd seen the power of the Holy Spirit moving in the people and seen what God was doing, 30,000 accepted Jesus as personal Savior in one altar call. 30,000 at one time. So I believe if we'll take God's word as the rule and go into all the world and preach the gospel, the gospel came not in word only, but through power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. So the, the gospel is demonstrating the power of the Holy Spirit. I went into nations that say, now we don't want missionaries. We know more about it than you do. But the thing we want to see is somebody that's got faith enough to make God's word manifest. That's what they want to see. And that's how they get converted. That's how they find Christ. Is because they, they believe in that manner. And I trust the God with all my heart that there will be many, many here tonight who will find Christ the same to their heart. May the Lord Jesus of Nazareth bless each and every one of you is my prayer. Now, okay? No man seeks God at any time. God seeks man. Never did a man seek God in all the world. God seeking man. When man first fell in the Garden of Eden, it showed the strain of man. Man hid. God was hunting man. Jesus said, no man can come to me except my Father draw him. It has to be drawn of the Father first. And then I would like to explain something to you. Uh, seeing a vision, how many people in here ever dreamed a dream? Let's see your hand. Well, I guess two-thirds of you. There is true that many people doesn't dream. That's your subconscious we're taught. Here's your first conscience. Here's your subconscious. Now, this subconscious is what I'm trying uh, with the Holy Spirit to work on. This first conscience, I might ask this man here, any man along here, someone, do you believe? Oh, yes, sir. You believe it here, but what about this man down here? He's the one that runs the ship. Not the man up in the pilot house, it's the man in the engine room. Sometimes when you go to sleep, you go into this subconscious and you dream. And you dream the things you did when you were here. Then when you wake up, you remember things that you dreamed. You people had dreamed dreams many years ago, you dreamed them, you still remember. Well, there was some part of you somewhere. Isn't that right? Or you wouldn't remember it. Something that you dreamed many years ago. Now the man who sleeps sound, his subconscious is way back. It never gets to him. But a seer, his subconscious is not back there. Neither is it here. It's right here. He doesn't go to sleep. He's got his eyes open and he just sees. Now that, God gave that man a place where he could sleep sound and not dream. God gave man the way to dream dreams. I'd say, dream me a dream. You couldn't do it. And then God puts in the church some apostles, prophets, gifts of healing. Is that right? They're all for the perfecting of the church. Paul said, if, there come, if you all speak with tongues and the unlearned comes in, won't he say you're all mad? But if one prophesies and reveals the secrets of the heart, won't they fall down and say, truly, God is with you? Is that right? Yeah. 
Is that the gospel? Yes. Well, wasn't that Jesus Christ yesterday? Yes. Isn't he today? Yes. You can yes. believe him by speaking with tongues. Yes. You can believe him by the Holy Spirit. But I believe him in the full measure that he is. The same Lord Jesus. He's not dead. He rose from the dead. And here tonight, here at the platform now. And may he bless and help. I've never been in this country before. And as far as I know, there's not a living soul that I can see before me that I know. Very few here on the platform. Brother Bose, I remember him. I've seen the man there next to him. I don't remember his name, but... And I... Brother Lindsay, just a, maybe three or four ministers sitting here that I know in the building. But God knows all of you. Is that true? Amen. He knows all of you. Now, this lady standing here, God in heaven knows I've never seen her in my life as I know of. Are we strangers, lady? Yes. We are perfect strangers. Yes. But God knows her. Now, if Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, let's change the picture now, what he was yesterday, when he was going to find out something about a woman. He said, bring me a drink. She said, why, it's not customary for this to happen, Jews and so forth with the Samaritans. But Jesus speaking to her a little while, he found just where her trouble was. Is that right? Yeah. Well, now, if Jesus has risen from the dead, now, and is living in us tonight, a little while the world sees me no more, yet you shall see me, for I, I as a personal pronoun, I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. That's the gospel truth. You might not have read it that way, or thought of it that way, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. That's your theology might have bypassed it somewhere, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. I will be with you even in you to the end of the world. Now, I, you know I'm waiting for something. That is true. It's the angel of the law. <laughs> that's true. I'm just as helpless as it could be, just like any of the rest of you. And I'm here perhaps with critics sitting here. How many ever seen his picture? I've noted in my meetings to see where the scientific taken his picture as a great light. It comes in, you can watch it. Yes, many of you, it's sold. Thousands of copies of it's been sold and so forth. The Douglas Studios in Houston, Texas has it where George J. Lacey, the, one of the best in the research in America, taking an exhibit and everything to see it wasn't a double exposure or something. And Jesus Christ has vindicated himself as being the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, of course, I wait for him. Whether he will help me tonight, I do not know. And if I have said anything boastfully or anything that I've said out of the way, may God forgive me. I wouldn't mean to do it. I only mean with humbleness of heart to represent Jesus Christ, who's listening to me now. And may his mercy be here tonight. Be enough to spoke these things, and that being his word, may he come and help us is my prayer. And now, as the organist here somewhere, if she will slowly, please, real low, the song only believe and everybody please be in a, a mood of prayer if you will you don't have to bow your heads unless you're asked now in the prayer line you just coming what be if he rebukes you you must if it it'll be the truth if it is you must be willing to stand it in the audience anywhere if he says you must know it's not me it's him and go make it right the first thing you can do before you can find a cure you've got to find the cause before you can find a cure you go to a doctor sick and upset and he gives you an aspirin, he's not a good doctor. He's trying to get rid of you. If he's a good doctor, he'll diagnose the case till he finds the trouble and then start working from there. That's the same thing we have to do here. If an evil spirit, if he's unconfessed sin or something or some out of the will of God, you can anoint them all night long and cry and scream and do all you wish to, that demon will stay right there. That's right. He has a right to. But that's what you have to watch. God has put a curse on somebody for something, then you come along and take it off. You get in trouble like Moses did. That's right. Peace here. The Holy Spirit. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I take every person in here under my control for God's glory. <laughs> now, I want to talk to you a minute, sister. Your conscience is something's going on, of course. It, it, it's just now happened. Now, if that is true, let the people see by your uplifted hand. That's right, see. It's, that's that, his presence. Yes. That's right, see. Now, I, I'm a stranger to you, never seeing in my life. 
And now, if the Holy Spirit that I have spoke of, of Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, if I have truly witnessed that to the people and declared it to be the truth, and he is the same, then he will reveal to me something to you that would help you to believe him. If you're here, I don't know what you have need of, whether, it's, uh, but he does. Now, if God will permit that, would you accept your healing and, or, or whatever it is you want finance or whatever it is you're here to seek him for, to ask him about, or domestic troubles, whatever it might be, whatever it is, he'll know and he'll be able to let me know. Is that right? Right. And that would make him the same as he talked to the woman at the well. Yes. Now, I'm only talking to you like he did to contact your spirit, and I see you moving from me. You're, you're, you've had a, I see a great crash of some sort. It's yes. an accident. Yes, yes, And you, yes. it was a car uh, wreck. Yes. And you were thrown in the air yes. like that. Yes. And it strained you in somewhere in your neck. It's caused a, a cancer yes. to come into your neck. Uh, or, and you're some sort of a teach in the scripture. And you yes. believe that Jesus Christ makes you well? I do. Father God, in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, on the authority of God's word by a dying woman, I ask this evil thing to leave her. Satan, you are exposed. So come out of the woman as the church of the living God calls for you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Now, just for just a moment, I just want to talk to you. Of course, you know it's gone now. Oh, yes. It'll stay that way. See how your throat left? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. It's all gone from her. The, the garter has left her throat. And she, God bless you. Go on your road now and be thankful. And happy and rejoice. And, and be, mm-hmm. Now, just have faith in the Lord Jesus. Make him in your center of your thought right now. The Lord Jesus. As you think on these things. While they were thinking on these things, they were one accord. Remember, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same today. Now have faith. Watch this way, audience, and believe with all your heart and give me your undivided attention. Be in prayer. Keep faith in God. I believe this is the lady. Is this the patient? Yeah. All right, come near, sister. Of course, that won't hurt you now. That's, that's just his presence see, that you're conscious of. And I'd, an audience, I'm, I'm your brother. I, this is not psychology. I felt that come into the audience. It isn't. It's Almighty God. Yeah. See, see. It's not psychology. No, it isn't. Now, don't do that. Just think of being the Lord Jesus. See, and one a car. Now, sister, I just want to speak with you just a moment. We're strangers, I suppose. But Jesus Christ knows the both of us. This is our first time meeting on earth. But he knows you, and he's fed you all your life. And he knows me. And if I, your brother, and by his grace, by a divine gift, that I had nothing to do with the coming. When I was born a little baby, the first thing I can remember was the vision. Now, I want you to look this way just a moment. Of course, you're sick. And you're suffering with uh, a condition that's a, it's a dark spirit around you. It's death. And it's in a form of cancer. And the cancer is located on the breast. And you're seeing you're examined by someone strong, and you've got a, a ruptured condition. And the rupture is in the bowels. And you have a stomach trouble also, a severe heart trouble. It calls you fainty. Uh, uh, here a few days ago, you're sitting sideways on the side of a bed and nearly passed out looking towards your window.
Are those things the truth? Yes, it that is all true. All true. Well, whatever it was, of course, it's gone from me. But what do you think that was that knows your life? Was it Jesus Christ? You accept it to be that? Yes. Thank you. And I You're willing, you know that something supernatural is here. Yes. And if you believe it to be the Lord Jesus, as I have preached it out of the Word, and you believe it to be the Lord Jesus. Yes, I do. I know there's a dark spirit of fear hanging at you yet. It's something very serious. Mm -hmm. Say, I see you. Your name is uh, Eva. Yes. And your last name is York. Yes. And you live in this city. Yes, I do. And your house number is 613 6th Street. Yes. Is that right? Yes. You're going home to be well. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Scripture has said, Go ye and sin no more, unless a worse thing come upon you. Sin is unbelief. Sin is not drinking, smoking, gambling. That's attributes of sin. You do that because you believe not. Jesus said, Go and sin or disbelieve no more, or worse things will come upon you. Have faith in God. Believe him with all your heart. I see the light following that woman yet. It's, uh, just that that's her just left. It's hanging by a colored person there. Yes, the lady there with that gallbladder and rupture. You believe the Lord Jesus make you well, lady? Sitting there, that white thing around your neck, if you believe it with all your heart, you may raise up and claim your healing and be made well in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Have faith in God. Does thou believe? don't you sir sitting out there isn't that right you were sitting there praying Lord have that man speak to me is that right if that's right raise up your hand stand up on your feet your faith has healed you brother go home Jesus Christ makes you well the same Lord Jesus you don't need to be up here you need to have faith just believe God with all your heart and you shall have what you ask for Jesus Christ will grant it to you if you will only believe. But you must have faith. You must believe him with all your heart, and God will bring it to pass. The patient, excuse me, sir. Do you believe with all your heart? You do? Now, you're just a bit excited because of the presence of his being standing here and um, I believe you're from out of town you come from a capital too Richmond yep. Virginia you have a cancer it's in your inside of your mouth on your jaw is that right you want to go home and be well right. accept Jesus as your healer and in the name of Jesus Christ may it leave the man go away from him Amen. God bless you sir go believing Having faith with all. What are you saying? I know now that seeing you, you're becoming a young looking person. Much younger than what you are in my presence. You are suffering with some sort of a headache. And it's, uh, it's come many years ago, about 25 years ago, your headache started. And it's been bothering you ever since. You have been a great believer, and you have, uh, you have prayed for this hour that's standing here now. You have said in prayer to God that if you could uh, only get to me, that uh, if I would pray that your headaches would cease. Those things true? Everything. That is true. Now, 
you heard what said that that wasn't me that was just my voice because those ever what it was is something i i remember seeing a young person or something was it this way it was said there just the way, just the way it was said now you believe that god did it you believe god did it. now sure. you're sure that god is here just a moment i see something else a young woman seems to be standing near you it's a it's a daughter and um, yes you were just fixing to go on a trip somewhere you were going to see her and she's from indiana richmond indiana is where she lives and she her husband is a minister and she has wrote you a letter something telling you not to come because i was coming here is that right you're healed you can go on in need. Just a moment, the lady, now I see the Holy Spirit standing in the corner. It's uh, over a colored lady. She's looking this way. She has been and she's praying. She has a growth and that growth is in her throat. She's got her hand up. You accept your healing lady? The lady sitting right behind you there. Also, she has a growth in the thinner shoulder. Is that right, lady? Both of you stand on your feet right now. The two ladies right there with the growth on the two colored ladies. Jesus Christ heals you both. You can go home and be made well for God's glory. Your faith has healed you. God bless you. It's gone. Have faith in God. Do not disbelieve, but believe that all things are possible to them that does believe. Amen. My, what a faith bank in the building. It looks like real milky out over the building. You are certainly in the spirit of the Lord now. Anything could happen. How do you do, lady? Do you believe me to be God's prophet it's, I mean well a prophet is a preacher you don't expect me to be of the enemy you expect me to be of God is that the way you accept it well then I can help you or he told me if I would get the people to believe me and be sincere when I prayed that nothing would stand before the prayer and now it isn't the I that helps it's God that does the healing I question I said they won't believe me he said, there'll be two signs given to you, as was to the prophet Moses. In this, the people will believe. And one of them was to reveal the secrets of the hearts of the people to them. Now, you're not here for yourself, although you're nervous and run down, but it's been caused by a disease of this child. This child here is suffering. It's been turned down by the doctors to die. It's leukemia. Isn't that right? You brought the child from out of town. You've traveled, coming from the west, coming east, you have come. You've come from a, a state that has mountains. It's Pennsylvania. And your city, I believe it's Chambersburg, isn't that right? Bring the child to me. Little sister dear, the Lord Jesus was here. He'd lay his hands up on you, and death would leave you, and you'd live. Do you believe that I am his servant? Then in his stead, I lay my hands on this child and bless it and ask that the demon leave the child and that life comes to the child and it will live and be well. Come out of the child, Satan, by the authority of God's Bible with a divine gift ministered by an angel. I adjure thee to leave the child. I'm from you. You need your to get well. 
God bless you. Turn around, wave to the audience. And God bless you. The little girl with tremendous faith, be well. God bless you, honey. Go, you write me a letter. Do you believe me as his prophet, as his servant? Do you believe that God is near in his spirit and this which is now being done is of the Lord Jesus? Not me, I'm a man. Yeah. If God will let me know what's wrong with you as a vindication, I am his prophet standing here revealing the truth. As he said to the woman, go get your husband. She said, I have none. He said, you have five. She said, I see your prophet. See, I perceive that you're a prophet. Now that same spirit that was on that son of God, he promised to send it back in the form of the Holy Ghost that would be with us and dwell with us to the end of the world. You believe it? If he can know your troubles now, can he? You got heart trouble. Is that right? Every person with heart trouble stand to your feet. You can be healed right now, no matter what it is, of the heart trouble. Lord God, thou knowest our strength and how feeble we are and how weak. And, but Lord, we know how strong you are. And heart trouble is something our doctors cannot do anything by. But Lord, who made the heart? You did. And I now rebuke this demon power that's holding these people with heart trouble. May he come out of every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, sister. I just want to say something to you. You feel different now than you felt in a long time, have you? I told the people, no, there's a real dark spirit. You had bad suffering. You lay down. That, and now it's gone from you. You're healed. You, I just told it. Yes, yes, you are. All right. Have faith in God, please. Everyone with one accord, have faith. How do you do, sir? All right, us being strangers one to another, but the Lord Jesus knows us both. Is that right? The God of heaven who created the heavens and earth dwells in Jesus Christ, promised to return again in us. And what he done, we do also. Do you believe me to be his prophet? The reason I say that, the angel of the Lord told me, get the people to believe you. And if they won't believe you, then you'll know the very secrets of their heart and they'll have to believe it then. But you do believe me. And besides the reason that you do believe me, you are a minister of the gospel yourself. And you're here for a good cause. You're not sick, you're in need, and you want an old-fashioned revival to break in your community. Praise the Lord. That's what you're saying. Every one of us wants that. Let's all stand for an old-fashioned revival. Almighty God, who created.